Okay, this is Jacob Schmidt with DeerHuntingSchool.com. Um, in this little video here, I'm just going to, you know, keep it short. And I'm going to talk about using uh, deer as, you, as sightings of deer and things to kind of figure them out and pattern them. Um, you know, first thing, guys, is just using some common sense um, and understanding the timing and stuff. And I sell an online course on timing and hunting pressured mature bucks. Um, I have, sell several online courses, but that's one I'm good one, and if you if you don't understand the timing, you're going to be way behind the deer all the time anyway. So, a lot of anything you under if you don't understand that, a lot of stuff's not going to help you. But, um, you know, that course is on DeerHuntingSchool.com. You just go to DeerHuntingSchool.com on the left hand side under my wife's picture holding a buck. You can see the online courses and pick it, and you can purchase it right there. Um, but this one here, I want to talk about um, using deer sightings to pattern deer and to figure them out. Um, and I just want to talk about a couple, you know, a couple areas I've seen deer in this area here. Um, I've seen, uh, I'm going to talk about the, a couple does I've seen. I've seen does one evening come off this area here. Um, and I've seen does groups come out of this area and come up. And they kind of circled and went back. And this, this doe ended up killing, so I don't know where, where she went. But um, she looked like she was headed back into this area um, in the evening. So, I don't understand why these made a circle, but anyways, um, as I kept hunting it and seeing more and more uh, deer grew, deer doing things, I've seen deer coming, um, those coming out of here in the evening, coming up towards this direction, you know, sort of a thing. Um, I've, I've had set a trail camera, and I've seen uh, bucks coming out of, of this area, you know, here. And after dark, um, I've seen a mature buck heading into this area, kind of late morning. Um, I've seen a mature buck coming out of this area right at dark. Um, couldn't get a shot at him or nothing. Couldn't get a shot at this one either. Um, but anyways, and I've seen some other doe. I've seen some does, yeah, come up out of here um, one morning, feed in some, some white oak trees in this area here and then head back into that area um and i've jumped up a, a group of about four does right here okay right in this area here somewhere um, i've heard deer blow or i mean we're talking like almost midday in this area um, several occasions so what i have gathered by doing that is that um this area here, by watching these deer, um, watching these deer coming out of this area in the evenings and on, at, at, at night on the trail cameras and things, and what I've gathered that these deer are bedding here, watching this buck here come down in towards this area. Don't know where he went, but he was just headed towards the area. Um, he was cruising. But anyways, um, and then seeing, you know, these doe groups here. Now, this is a huge area. But anyways, by seeing these, and when I, whenever I see a deer, I'm like, why is that deer headed that direction? What time of day is it? Why would that deer be heading in that direction at this time of day? Okay, now I also I have also seen deer come out of here more than once in the morning um, heading this direction. So I've also gathered there's deer bedding up in this area, okay? Um, because, and then also with this one coming down in the evening that I'd killed. Um, the bedding in this area. So what I've gathered, you know, by seeing a deer, you know, say I see this 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 mature buck that come out of here, um, right here, by seeing him, why is he why is he headed that way? Would he be heading? Would he be heading to his his main food area? You know, late in the morning, or is he more apt to be headed to bed down? Okay, I've seen some other deer um, in these areas. What about this this mature buck right here? Okay. That I seen late in the evening. I'm talking, you know, within the last 20 minutes of daylight. Um, why would I have seen this deer um, headed this direction at that area? Would he be coming from his food source, or would he be going coming from his bedding area? Or is he going to a food source or going to his bedding area? What is the most likely? If a deer is coming right at dark, he's most likely coming from his bedding area. Okay. If you see a deer in the morning, most of the time. And this is most of the time. Sometimes it can be different. Most of the time, they're headed towards 
their bedding area. Okay, so in the morning, as I seen these deer here, this these this deer here, um, he's most likely heading back towards his bedding area. This buck here was most likely coming from his bedding area. These bucks I have here, on, uh, I don't know their exact route. I just know that I have a camera of them, or I had a camera set up somewhere in here, um, headed that direction after dark. Where are they most likely coming from? They're most likely coming from their bedding area. Using sightings of deer. Will, will tell you a lot. Um, it will tell you a lot of times where the deer are bedding. Okay, it will tell you a lot of times where they're feeding. Now, these will change. Um, these areas will, may change throughout the year, you know, depending on the patterns and, and timing and stuff, guys. That's why, I, you know, like I said, I'll, I'll recommend that coarse timing and hunting mature pressure deer on uh, mature pressure bucks. Um, because they're they're going to change and stuff, especially their food patterns, they're going to change dramatically. Their their bedding areas may stay pretty close to the same area, but they're even going to change a little, um, depending on the pressure and, and different things like that. Um, so, you know, seeing that, seeing okay, I have a deer coming from this direction right at dark, and this deer's walking this way right at dark. Most likely, that deer's coming from its bedding area right here, or you know, somewhere in that direction. Okay, in the morning. The next morning, I see the same dang deer. I'm headed back here. Okay, most likely that deer is feeding out here somewhere, and that deer is bedding back here somewhere. Learning that will help you to pattern and and understand how that deer is moving. So when you see a deer, you need to answer why is that deer coming from that direction? Is it coming from bedding area, food area? And then sometimes you have to just ignore it because sometimes they're just spooked. Okay, did the deer act like it was spooked, like it was running from something, or did the deer act like it was just traveling calmly, okay? Using them can, will, will help you to understand if the deer are coming from a bedding area or from a food area or where they're heading. And as you do that more and more and you hunt an area more and more, you'll understand that and it will be uh, become a lot more obvious what the deer are doing and why they're doing it, and it actually allows you to move in on them as different timing of the year and things change. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video here. This is Jacob Schmidt with DeerHuntingSchool.com. Check out DeerHuntingSchool.com for more tips and information on deer hunting. Guys, get my online courses. They're really going to help you. Um, this hunt, deer hunting is a learning uh, process. I'm still learning. Um, everyone out there is learning. The day that you stop learning is the day that you stop improving as a hunter, period. And it's probably the day that you'll end up you, it'll be the day that you're soon to probably end up giving up on hunting because you're not going to advance anymore so um you know check out the online courses they're you know for sale on deerhuntingschool.com on the left hand under my wife's picture holding a buck um you'll see them they're easy to find um you can purchase them uh, instant download so anyways check them out and check out deerhuntingschool.com subscribe to my uh youtube channel because i put videos up um, at least a few videos a week, if not one to two videos a day sometimes. Um, so anyways, check it out, subscribe, get the um, online courses, and check out DeerHuntingSchool.com. Have a good day and bye-bye.